Now, before I officially begin this video, I want to establish something. I was screwing around on the settings and I found something that was checked called Truck Speed Limiter. Now, if you have watched my previous videos, you would know that this truck refused to go over 90 miles an hour. Well, that is about to change. Oh my gosh, I did not know this was truckly possible. 148 kilometers an hour is our top speed. And now let's stop. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sign. That was a ser oh flagger muffin. Whoa, boy! Speed comes at a price. What's up, guys? This is Multi Two Four Gaming, and I am here with another Euro Truck Simulator Two video. Now, as you guys know from the very beginning of this video, I have discovered how to make this truck go a hundred and fifty kilometers an hour. No mods. Anyway. <laughs> That aside, I think I'm actually going to uh, turn that off because that's too much power. And that kind of power at my disposal could really screw stuff up. Unfortunately, it appears to be in the opposite direction of where I'm going. This is Grand Theft Trucko. I believe in this video we will be reaching our southernmost point in England. And then after this we'll be heading across the, uh, the bottom part and then over to the European mainland. Oh, come on, let's get to 90 kilometers an hour, and brakes, and ready to go. Let's see how this thing accelerates with its new power, with this trailer on the back. Going around the loop-de-loop, -loop, and then onto the main highway with our speed. I'm sorry, I just won't stop talking about it, but... Have I ever gone 148 kilometers an hour in Euro Truck Simulator? No. Did I just do that? Yes. Okay, I actually just turned the truck speed limiter back on. Um, because I decided that after a few crashes, um, as you can see there, I don't need any more power than that is already given to me. The magic sign says Plymouth should stay in this lane, but occasionally we can turn it off if we actually, like, seriously want to stalk somebody. Well, the entire way to Plymouth seems to be road like this one, and to be honest, that's absolutely boring as Flagger Muffin. And so we'll probably do a little more than that and go um, down along the southern coast of Flagger Muffin. Not the southern coast of Flagger Muffin. I said that because I crashed and that made me really mad. <gasps> There's a white van. Stay away from the white vans, even if you're a trucker. I know no one's going to mess with the trucker, but the white vans are evil. Now, if I'm indicating, right, and I go in front of him, I should not get the fine. So I should make it so he, like, turns into me and I don't turn into him. So, uh, die! <laughs> I told you, white vans are evil. Never mess with them unless you're ramming them. And in that case, kudos. Back to seriousness. Oh, that's not serious. Come on. I just had a great idea. To entertain ourselves, as all the cars pass, let's blind them with our high beams. How about that? All right, ready? Oh, here. I swear I've seen that lighthouse before. That was your fault, car. Ladies and gentlemen, the destination is in sight. We are almost to Plymouth. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be continuing on our way around the map for the second half of this video and make our way down to Sampston, I think is what it's called. So basically for a very long time, we are going to be starting to head east all the way to like Bratislava and Hungary and that's very far that's through France Italy Germany Austria Prague Czech Republic Poland no not Poland but a lot of it, it, it will take a bit um, fortunately we are passing a tractor oh tractors Thankfully, we don't have to go through too much of the city to get to our little truck stop. We are here! 
at the destination. Now, this will not be our last destination for the video, because we're only like five, six minutes in. I don't know how much we're in, because I have not edited it yet. Satisfactory. Maybe we crashed the trailer once or twice. Oh yeah, just $700 in damage. That's nothing, right? Okay, continue, and let us see if we can find a job. Oopsie daisies, that's not the right spot. Let us see if we can find a job to, uh, what's it called? Southampton. Um, doesn't appear so. So, looks like we'll be doing this video with this sugar in two parts. So, we're gonna make our way in this video to Southampton, and then after that, um, we will, um, make our way to Kalasasasasas in our next video and let's be the cool people and not use the GPS because who needs GPS of course we've got the GPS down there but it encourages looking at the signs also the truck I'm gonna get as I said does not have that built-in sat nav and so I will um, be able to rely on the signs even more and it'll probably be more entertaining for you guys because you won't be seeing exactly where we're going It'll be more engaging, and I'll probably lose my way so many times it'll be incredibly funny. Also, as I said before, my new truck is going to have the steering wheel on the other side, just for fun. Because, you know, who doesn't want a challenge? Tractor! Oh, there were two tractors. Why can't we look back there? No, oh, nope, 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 we got problems. I can only see through that rear view mirror, side view mirror. Okay, boom. Digger. It's not a tractor. Tractors have wheels. Those that, that has tracks. Um, we are getting the racing runway stripes now, and we are about to ignite our speed. Open the throttle. Nope, still 48. Never mind. Alrighty, it's 113 kilometers an hour. Hello down there. We are the cool people because we are elevated, and you are down, down south where the sun don't shine. Ah! Let's try not enter the loop-de-loop -loop at 90 kilometers an hour because that could end up capsizing the truck and that would only be funny to you. What a perfect time for an engine malfunction. Right when you're going around a corner. It's getting light out again. Let's see, it's 3.27 a.m. Obviously, the nights do not last long up in um, England. That's what I've gathered so far from my time up here in this truck. Looks as if this road is turning into one lane. I'm glad no cars were next to me because they wouldn't have fared well. And here we are, we've got the coast. We have the English coast here. At the very bottom we are looking out um, at the Atlantic, I think. I'm not quite sure, or some kind of sea. Yeah, so we are currently looking out at the English Channel. We kept going in the direction that we did um, to get to uh, that Southpaw place. <laughs> I'm sorry about my pronunciation. Well, actually, no, I'm not sorry, but, you know, I uh, recognize my pronunciation is wrong. Uh, look at that stack of hay. Oh, look at that. That was very nice. Look, I left all those trucks behind. Suckers. Okay. Anyway... Uh, we saw the Pacific Ocean and American Truck Simulator, if you saw those videos. Um, that was beautiful, except there were seemingly naked people. Not close enough to tell, but, uh, so, oh, frick. I keep, um, I, I was on the right side of the road. I mean, the wrong side of the road. Wrong side of the road for, never mind. This is the side of the road I'm supposed to be on. And so, let's just leave it at that. It's funny, the speed limit goes away when you go to a separate lane. So, you go over here, and the speed limit disappears. Yep, it's gone. Bring it back here, and oh my gosh, it's decided to reappear. Sorry, sign. That was a ser- Oh, flagger muffin. Whoa, boy. Okay. Um. <clears throat> How's the trailer? 1%? Because that makes all the sense in the world. And the truck is like 23%. Screw Euro Truck Simulator logic. I think we're leaving Wales soon, though. We, we've been in Wales for the past, um, like, seven or eight minutes. And it's been, like, the past hour for me, but for you guys, 
seven, eight minutes. Okay, I've called our GPS back up, um, mostly because I uh, realize we are almost to um, our Southampton place. We're going to be picking up this job again on our next journey, in our next video. And in our next video, I can say for sure, even though I've said multiple times, we will be crossing into the European continent. Obviously, in American Truck Simulator, you get the police cars, but in this game, the unseen force finds you. So you're never safe. Never. It appears we are starting to get some rain droplets. Of course, this uh, pretty much defines uh, Wales and pretty much Great Britain and all, but um, I didn't expect it actually right now. But, uh, oh well. Rain will be rain. I doubt this will be a thunderstorm, but you never really know this early. Stick our windshield wipers on. And, um, see what we got. It appears that this rest up over here is just for that side. Please don't ask me why, because I have no clue why that side of the road would get a rest stop and our side won't. And so we're just going to follow this road until the next rest stop decides to show up. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that is. Let's just consult our GPS here. Uh, um, okay, it looks like one's coming up once we just get around this city here. Um, and then we'll reach there. Let's see here. GPS back. Oh, green car. Oh, you better watch where you're going or you'll get slammed. So our last possibility of going to Southampton. Maybe we should have gone. I've crashed this truck so many times that it's been giving me random, random malfunctions in the middle of dire situations. And to be honest, that's never good. Yep. There we go. One right there. Car, seriously? Come on. Oh, I see. So you're... I'm gonna follow you in there, then. I wonder if the car actually stops. We're going to collect some gas, and then, um... Do we have to wait in line behind the car? Oh my gosh, it actually does! It actually stops, turns off its engine. I wonder if a guy gets out. No, that would be too epic. Yeah. Alright, let's, um... Here's our truck petrol area here. So let's just stop right here. Uh, turn off the engine and get ourselves some fuel. It's raining, it's pouring. Oh, let's go. Let's go find ourselves a spot to sleep. Sleep during the night. And then we will pick up tomorrow where we left off. Let's just pull through here. There. Nicely done. That didn't sound good. Alright. Anyway. Nothing much more to say in our next video. If you're at all interested in watching it. I actually suggest you watch the one before this one if you haven't seen any of our videos before because that one was rather funny. Um, we were stupid enough to go from here all the way down here up here and then, yeah. Anyway, in our next video what we'll be doing is we'll be following this road down here over to the tunnel where we will get on a train, yes, an actual train, and ride the train across the English Channel and to... France, in the European continent. No, we're not going that far. Um, and yeah, that is the entire Euro Truck Simulator map. There is a DLC out for this, and I know they are working on one for France. Soon, this will be an extremely big map. Really excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.